what is going on ladies and gentlemen today we are coming back with more live trading i know this has been requested by uh, many many people many of you have been requesting this so we are back doing this we did change our exchange we're trading before in bitmex we've transferred over to bybit um to start our um our journey and our live trading again um with the live account so um like last time we created basically a small account um to do live you know we don't want to trade with a bunch of funds live um just to, to to give you guys an idea that it is possible to profit in this market regardless of the size of your account um it just takes persistency uh dedication and uh, you know and trading properly in order to be able to do that so um so we've already jumped in a trade uh wanted to do this live unfortunately the trade came really really quick so because of that um we had to just kind of jump in we even had to we had to do a market order um because it came so fast you know we 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 wanted to enter uh a little bit earlier but uh we we had to we couldn't enter until 11 7 30 because it came so fast we we're still setting everything up to go live and boom the the, the entry triggered um so here let's let's show you what uh what we did here so here's our entry as you guys can see uh our entry price was eleven thousand seven hundred and thirty, right so um our stop we're using a hundred dollar stop for right now uh, but that can change um, but right now our stop is at 11,630 right um, so basically we're, we're setting our stop right below this candle the bottom of this candle um, so we could we could go a little bit further up and put it just below 6 640 um, but we're fine with our position is 6 630 uh, it's a hundred dollars um, so we're good with it as you guys can see we're currently in profit um about five percent profit which is about uh 26 dollars um and we're holding this position we're gonna hold it for a bit let me show you what we're looking at in the chart and the reason why we took this trade uh so here on the chart you can see if you guys have watched our previous videos we've been talking about this the first thing we're talking about that we mentioned to you guys was this divergence right here where there is a lower high higher high higher high lower high so that's automatically a sign of uh you know losing steam that the market needed a break uh losing momentum uh buyers stopping you know the buyers leaving so all, all those things um so our entry which we did enter here um was this zone right here this was our entry as you guys can see um, after we mentioned this right here it hit our zone one two three times um, so we did this was a trade that we took and we we're able to ride it and take profit just at this resistance level here which was 11,500 um, and you see we had that resistance there and then our first breakout was here um, we weren't able to take this trade uh, because there were so many fake outs here I didn't want to take a, get a, get another fake out here so we didn't tr uh, take this trade however we did take this one which is the one we're currently in so this was the first breakout entry this was the second breakout entry um, so we took this second one here and which is where we're currently at um, so here what we're looking for here for our for our uh, targets, so the main target here is twelve thousand, right? Um, so that's about three hundred dollar profit. Uh, if we, if you enter eleven thousand seven hundred and it goes up to twelve thousand, that's the main thing we're looking for. If you guys look back, right, um, you'll see that it did kind of. There is some price action at eleven thousand eight hundred. Um, there's also some price action at 900, 11,900, and then uh, that 12,000 would be the last one. So, um, giving this what, what we're seeing here in the past, that would make those three areas points of interest. So, the first point of interest is 11,800, 
second point of interest 11,900 third point of interest 12,000 so you could turn those basically into your um, your targets so since $100 is our first target here what we want to do is change then our um, our stop loss since 100, 800, uh, 11,800 is our first target. We're gonna change our stop loss, right? So as you guys can see now, we're up 7%, up $38. Um, we're gonna move up our stops. Let me see, can I just, all right. So $50 should be our max stop for this entry, right? So that's gonna be around 11,680. So that's our new stop, but because we've already hit our first uh, target, um, we could move this up to break even at this point. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna move this up to break even, which was right at this area. Changing your price may cause the order to be triggered. Yes. All right, so we changed our stop now to break even, right? So um, we can. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna take profits, right? And we're going to, and then we're, we have our our uh, stop at break even now. So if it goes back down, we're fine because uh, we already took some profits. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Um, let's create a limit order for about twenty five percent reduce only because we're selling here and the price we want to sell at is 800 so we're gonna sell here we're posting that that order order submitted um, and it looks did the order fill yeah your order has been filled so we just took profits at the first our first take profit zone we just took profits we moved up our stop loss, right? And now we're going to wait for our next uh, uh, take profit area, which is 11,900. And then the last one being 12,000. So since the last one is 12,000, we're going to put uh, new entry orders above 12,000 for a new breakout. So we'll be taking profits along the way. And then we're gonna set up new entries above that 12,000 mark so that if it gets stopped here at this resistance, we've taken profits. So we're gonna wait on a pullback to enter back in. If it breaks out, then we're just gonna enter right back in and continue on the way up with a stop loss, with a tight stop. Um, so that's how we continue winning and we continue collecting profits. And this is how you become profitable over the long term. All right, so we're gonna sit here and wait and see see what happens here um, and we'll, we will update you guys as soon as we get a new move alrighty guys see you in a few welcome back guys so we have an update for you guys all right so it's been a couple hours let me fill you in on what happened here so um, remember we took profits at 11 thousand we entered at 11 thousand 730 then we took profits on 11,800 on 25% of our position, correct? Then we, uh, remember we moved up our stop loss to break even. So what happened was the price came back down and we stopped out at break even. So on the rest of our position, we didn't lose anything. Um, so this trade ended up being in a small win. So even though it's a small win, small wins add up. You know what I mean? Um, small win is better than a loss. That is for sure. So um, it went down and tested that 700 level that we were talking about. Um, and now it's it went below it all the way down to, if you, if you can see here, 11,680. And now it's actually bounced here. It's found a, a little bounce right here and it's on its way back up. So it crossed back over 11,700 and um, we liked it. So uh, we jumped right back in. Uh, you see here, our fill price is 11,709. So this time we even got a better fill than the previous time. So, and now we're writing that back up. So 
currently uh, we're in this position we're up about eight dollars and fifty cents you can see here nine dollar ish uh, 1.87 percent uh, and we're just gonna write this and see if we can hit that profit mark at 11,800 again um, so what we're gonna do right now which we didn't do yet is set up a stop loss right so you always want to set up a stop um, we're gonna set up this stop remember you always have to hit close on trigger uh, this stop is going to be set uh, let's see so what's the low here so we're gonna look for the lows six seven is the low right well we want to give that little extra space you know so um, probably going to set it around 640 which gives us about a $60 stop uh, yeah the $60 stop let me see what's the low here 644 so it would have to be below 644 we're gonna go ahead and set that stop right there Let's do that. So we're gonna go ahead and set it at 644. Actually below 644. Six, so let, let's just do 640 to be nice and even, right? So that's a $69 risk. Um, our reward is uh, $91. So we're just under that two to one but remember, um, our first profit, even though 11,800 is our first uh, take profit spot, um, that's not our main one. So we're close enough where, and we since our last trade was successful where we took profits, we're, we're okay using this the profits that we got on that last trade uh, to risk a little bit more here. Uh, and go ahead and you know build that position up because we were confident in this trade um, if not we would be taking a stop right under these lows right here so this would be the better area for you guys to take uh, to place your stops um, but we're just gonna you know give us ourselves a little bit more room just so that uh, let, me see, let me make sure that this trigger is set up correctly trigger yeah just to um, to make sure that we're set up right here and we don't want to get stopped out we don't mind taking a little bit more risk um, since we're, we're, we're building up this account right now uh, so remember as, as we move up as well we're gonna move up our stop as well so we don't mind breaking even or even taking a very minimal loss um, so this is definitely changeable for us but if you're a beginner then the recommended area that i would recommend for you is below the previous lows depending what chart you're trading so this is the hourly chart since i'm going to be checking this uh very frequently I'll, i have mine set up you know a little bit lower but you ideally want your setup up here um if we look at the four hour chart you would want your setup around right here 670 area seems like that would be the perfect area actually there um, so we're looking at the four hour chart now and a 670 area actually looks like the perfect spot so we're gonna go ahead and move our stop loss to 670 now our risk is $39 for a $91 reward so now our risk reward ratio makes a lot more sense uh, we wanted to take a little bit more risk but you know uh we want to show you guys the right way to trade and uh when we switched over to the f to the four hour chart it just made more sense to to set it up there uh versus setting it up way down here so that's what we're doing that's what we're going with we're leaving it there we have our stop set up we know where our take we know where we're taking profit so we're, we are going to keep watching this and we will update you guys on this live trade two live trades all right you guys welcome back guys uh here is an update it's been about a day we've had this position open now for um, um i'm not sure exactly what time we opened it let me see if it says here the time of the fill 
1649. So we opened it at 4 yesterday. It's 10 a.m. today, the next day. Um, let me show you where we're currently at. We're up about 17% right now. Um, we've made, we're about $94 in profit. 94, 95. It's been ranging between uh, 90 to 100 dollars profit right here. Um, that as we've been watching. Um, so here, let's take a look at what happened here. Um, so we had that. Uh, we told you guys a breakdown yesterday on what we we're looking at and why we we're entering these positions. You know, why we were taking it, etc. Uh, you can see here on the four-hour chart this very, very nice. Um, bull flag you see it right there on the chart it popped up that's also that was also part of the play that we told you guys yesterday and here is the break out um, forward uh, so as you guys can see man we just woke up about an hour ago that's why my voice is a little deep right now um, and I pulled this up and I was like what you know what <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do right now we're gonna move up this stop loss right so we want to be under at this point under 9 11 900 it's basically where we are fine taking profits um let's let's drop down to the hourly chart to see where it's been on the hourly um all right so this is the lowest candle in the hourly right uh, so that is the low here is 871 so we can kind of put it probably under 871 let me see where are we I just moved it to 870 so we're right under the low um, but honestly we can uh, we can get as tight as we want here um, instead of putting it there but you know 871 seems pretty a pretty decent spot because it's under the 11,900 that we want to be right under so if it breaks under that we want to sell um, and it's on the this the pro this hours low of the hour basically um, if we want to get even deeper and find a different spot then we can even go you know zoom in a little bit more into the chart um, here you see um, the 30 minute chart and you see the 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 next candle just started so we can even go as far as putting it you know under this candle or uh, if you want to zoom in even more five minute chart so for scalping the five minute chart is probably one of the best um, so here I could either put it below this last five minute chart uh, candle which would be around 906 and this is the new candle or I could put it you know below this candle uh, which would be 884 ish you know but I am gonna go ahead and stick with um, the prior low of the last four hour candle that just usually gives me a it, it gives me a, a bit more for the long term um, you know the long term hold uh, to hopefully prevent waking out if it does come back down and test this area um, I'm, I'm, that's where I ended I'm, I'm talking shit <laughs> uh, but yeah so down here is where, where we're holding right now let me see wait wait we're currently on the hour here's the four hour I don't even know what I was looking at on the other one um, Where's our conditional? So we're up here. This is a four hour. This is a one hour. Okay. I'm like getting lost here on this. Uh, so yeah. So we're here under the this hour's low of the hour basically. Um, that's what we're fine taking profits. Is you could if you guys take a look down here, we're up 19% on the position for $103.31. Um, I don't know why it changes when I move my mouse over but um let me see calculate with mark price when your course has moved away the unrealized pay now it is shown if you close the position with the last traded price oh, okay so the mark price so um 
currently so yeah we've we've done a hundred dollars in profit guys uh and that's pretty much what we wanted to show you guys today we wanted to show you guys another another live trade where you know we took it we went through the process of setting up the trade you know the thoughts behind the process of setting it up why we're taking the trade you know where we're setting up our stop loss where we're taking profits etc etc um also on this trade uh we haven't pulled out profits yet uh i was asleep we could have set up uh take profit areas um while sleeping um but we didn't do it you know you should do it though don't always do what we do we just we have a bit more experience and we're trading with profit money anyways for for us you know um we're not trading with a large amount we're trading with a very small amount of money here just to show you guys um so just for the sake of the video we we didn't take profits uh at the this time because we remember we took it in the beginning um but this time we did not take profits at 11,800 which was our first take profit and 11,900 is our second now what we're doing here um since we still have the, our entire position we just moved up our trail stop for the entire position to 11,870 so if it drops here we're going to you're going to be taking profits on, on, on our entire position all right so we're, what we're going to try to do here is write it up as high as possible. Uh, we definitely believe 12,000 is a very, very strong support. So here we are taking profits 100% of the time. Um, we're just going to try to push this up as far as possible and see how, um, you know, how close to 12,000 we can go before taking profits. So I'm going to be pushing this up writing it up writing it up you know as the price keeps going up so once it passes like 950 then i'm gonna push my stop my stops up even more um and so forth uh, you know what i'm gonna probably go ahead and take some profits here because it's it's at 920 you know i'm gonna take 25 percent profits here uh so I'm going to take some profits because I'm happy with my profits. We've made a hundred dollars. Boom! We just sold. We just took some profits. Took about took out about twenty five, almost twenty two dollars. Um, and now we're holding the remainder of our position. So, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna continue holding and see what happens. Um, but I think that might be it for this video. Uh, because we do have to upload the video today. So uh, in case it is it, as you guys always know, peace and love. If not, we'll post up another update if something else happens in the next hour. Peace. What's going on, guys? As you guys can see, it is 11.29 a.m. So about an hour has passed since our last update. And we are showing you what's currently going on here. So we're up now 21%, 22%. Um, we're up $90 plus the $22 that we already took profit on. So we're really up uh, about what, 112, 113. We're up about $113 right now on this trade. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it is pushing back up. We're, we're currently looking at uh, Bitcoin in the five uh, minute chart. Um, as you can see, it is pushing up higher and higher. So we have, uh, as it's pushed up we're we're just trailing it right now uh with this trail stop so if you remember our trail stop was originally we had moved it up to about 11,870 um then we moved it up around uh 11,884 then we moved it up around 11,898 so we kept kind of just uh moving it below the lows you know what i mean so that's how we're trailing with our trail stop we, we slowly move it up below the higher lows. So higher low, boom, we moved it under there. Higher low, boom, we moved it under there. Higher low, boom, we moved it under there. Now higher low is gonna be around here. So 932 is the area that we want. Confirm that, boom, there it is. So we're at 932. However, we're very close to our final target. Um, so we're fine taking profits here like we are good just taking the full profits right here where it's currently at 11,980 so i'm gonna actually see 
if I can hold on. Let me see if this lets me switch switch the order around here. Because we're about to push up to um, 12,000. As you guys can see here, we set up uh, a new order. Let me see, where is it? Conditional order. So our new conditional art order, uh, it's set up above 12,000. As you guys can see here at 12,010. So on a break of 12,000, we have an order ready to go, right? So we're just gonna keep shelling this and we have orders re order ready to go on, on that. Um, on that break so um, we're, we're ready to take profit really here this is our final um, take profit for our full position as you guys can see we're up a uh, $92 plus the 22 that we have so uh, that puts us up around 114 115 uh, the 115 range um, so yeah it, it's looking like we might, we're gonna test that 12,000 range um, we're fine taking profits here uh, and we're fine just moving the stop up even higher really so we're just gonna keep trailing it in case it does just break through we'll have a new order and we're, we're also trailing so if it doesn't break through then we're just gonna stop out here and it's fine we are good stopping out around here around 11 is currently where we have it um, so we're, just, we're as, as we're getting closer and closer to our target uh, we're just gonna trail it tighter and tighter if that makes sense um, because we're fine with with selling at this point you know what I mean but we're, we want to hold for as long as possible and we have new orders up here so um, we're just gonna keep trailing now now that we're at our final target we can trail as tight as we want here um, and yeah that's pretty much it as you guys can see here the price is just going up and up and up uh, we're almost at 12,000 guys so uh, we're at currently at 11,980 we are going to keep you guys updated on this Alrighty guys, so for the last update on this video, as you guys can see, we got a huge red candle here. We dropped all the way to, uh, from, we were at 11.983, we dropped to 11.871, so we got rejected at the 12,000 zone back down under 11900 and it looks like we were bouncing a bit now back up above 11900 so um we're we're done for now our trade is closed as you guys can see order history um let me see how do i look at all right here it is um, so you guys can see we closed the remainder of our contracts. So the, our first profits we took at 11,922. The remainder of our contracts, which was our trail stop, was at 11,966.5. So that's where we got filled, and we ended up making well over a hundred dollars. I believe we we made around a hundred and fifteen dollars, something like that. Um, so yeah, we made some good profits on this trade, guys. Um, yeah that's that's pretty much it man we ha we held this position for about 20 hours uh made about 115 dollars on one and i think on the one before from 11,700 to 11,800 we ended up doing uh about like five bucks profit something like that it was something small i'm not sure exactly what the number was um but we did a, a small profit on that so in total we made about 120 dollars in the last day in the last 24 hours so um hope you guys enjoyed this video it was fun uh you know showing you guys the process of 
setting up these trades and why we're taking them in certain places and why we're, t we're taking profits where we're setting up our losses and all that hopefully you guys learned something here if you guys have any questions drop it in the bottom in the comments please guys make sure to like us our page make sure to drop a comment and just let us know what you think about it you know um and that's pretty much it man we just want to continue providing you guys with some free content and um and you know doing continue doing what we're doing man so thank you guys appreciate it as always peace and love